Dr. Vitter, I just have, I have to say, I have to turn to you and say, I'm so very surprised um, at your testimony. It seems in terms of saying that we should reduce the federal role and uh, that we have too many graduates in our economy. Wow. Uh, I have to tell you, in Michigan, uh, for Michigan, the Georgetown Center on Education and Workforce has said there's going to be, uh, out of the 1.5 million jobs expected to be created in Michigan alone in the next six years, a million of the million and a half will take education beyond high school. When I look at the National Association of Manufacturers who say there's 600,000 jobs available right now uh, that we can't match up skills, not all those are four-year, maybe two-year in terms of our community college, but when we look at the need on STEM, on science and technology and engineering and uh, math and where we're going as an economy and so on, um, I'm amazed that you think um, that we have too many graduates going into our economy, and I wonder if you might speak about that. Uh, certainly. Uh, we have, uh, if you look at Bureau of Labor Statistics data, uh, of people who are working with college degrees in the United States today, nearly half of them are in jobs that the BLS at least has characterized as jobs that do not require four-year degrees. Now that is statistic has to be taken with a little bit of grain of salt. I th I'm the first to admit there's some judgment calls of what is and what is not. The unemployment rate among college graduates 21 to 24, just right out of college uh, last year, was above the overall U.S. unemployment rate. Uh, Ms. Jones's story, which I think is a compelling story, is a story of someone who has worked hard and so forth, but she's making $10 an hour or $13 an hour. And th th this goes back to actually Senator Wyden's uh, great bill that wants to bring more information uh, to uh, the students uh, before they... Uh, make these wrong decisions. I think there's a huge information problem here. I see we're out of time. So I, yes. Although I don't know who's running the hearing now, so yeah. maybe well, we are I, out I of time. I think Senator Wyden is, let me, let me just say um, <laughs> at, at, in conclusion that uh, uh, I don't hear anywhere from any business or anybody that I work with right now that we need less education but, uh, for, for folks. But thank you again, Ms. Uh, Jones, and uh, we're going to do everything we can to give you a fair shot to be able to lower those costs so you can actually buy a house.